the one year stock chart, the performance is just spectacular. But look at that. 181%. That's better than Google, better than Yahoo. <laughs> giant AOL is also contributing big time. Their CEO, Tim Armstrong, has loaded up two 18-wheelers with supplies, sent them up the East Coast to help those who needed it the most. Center and from makers, it means a lot to all of us that everybody was uh, here. Uh, there was one thing I was potentially going to do is uh, we have uh, Harry Connick Jr. here and Kyle McLaughlin from Sex and the City fame, and I thought maybe instead of me speaking, they could just stand up here. Uh, there's so many women in the room, but uh, they, uh, they, maybe they'll come up and join me shortly. Um, I wanted to just say a couple of things about the Paley Center and then talk about uh, makers and, and the women in my life. Uh, first and foremost, I think uh, the leadership, and I'm going to end with Pat tonight, but Frank Benack, you know, in the world I live in, is the LeBron James of uh, CEOs and of media. And uh, for those of you who went to Hearst's recent anniversary and have been to the Hearst uh, building, the amount of work that was done at the beginning of Hearst to get Hearst started, I think, has been dwarfed by the work that Frank uh, has done. And he's been a two-time CEO of that uh, company. It's been a pleasure to serve on the Paley board uh, with him, and he's just an incredible asset to us in the, in the media business. Um, the second thing, the reason I joined the Paley board was because content matters. I think uh, Lon said it is that information is really powerful, and the fact that the Paley family and the Paley Center has taken the time to archive uh, the best content and highest content, uh, uh, highest quality content in the world is a very, very powerful asset. Uh, for all of us, and as it moves towards the digital world, I think Paley will only grow in terms of stature, uh, and the people on the board are incredible. I think Barbara Walters being on the board uh, says it all, and, and I think we all hope she comes back from her retirement like Frank did uh, at some point, but we'll, we'll let her retire for a few minutes. Uh, the other thing I would just say, I think one thing tonight that stands out is the connection between China and the U.S. 
I think the fact that uh, Lan and, and Bruno came uh, from Beijing to be here tonight says a lot. And if there's two countries in the world that are probably going to have bigger connections, uh, it's here. And Lan is, is literally the Oprah of China. So her coming tonight, I think, meant a lot to me and everybody else here. So thank you, Lan, for coming. Um, the, uh, the Makers Project started in uh, our, our kitchen, meaning our involvement in it, and my wife Nancy, um, who truly has done an exceptional job, my two daughters who are excellent, uh, I have a son also, uh, Jack, who's their older brother, uh, but my wife is literally a maker of our house where uh, she does uh, an incredible job both being a mom but also working and being involved in a lot of things. And I think it's a great role model both for me and for my children, um, and I think you see how talented she is uh, tonight. The, um, the other thing is that from uh, Dylan, who's here and for, who people have talked about many times, is the person who kept Makers going over the years and really was the person behind uh, making Makers happen overall. And I think AOL provided a funding role, but Dylan was the person from an engine point of view that kept it going. So thank you, Dylan. And, you. Um, and then uh, the partner, Betsy West, is here also, uh, who really helped produce the, the film. And I think the quality of it is, is outstanding. Uh, the two women from Unilever, uh, thank you, Betsy. Uh, Gina and Gail, why don't we uh, stick your hands up, they're here. Uh, Unilever as a company, we funded a site on scene after hearing the idea, you know, three minutes into the idea. Unilever did the same thing, and it's powerful that a corporation the size of Unilever made a decision uh, that quickly to fund makers. So, uh, thank you, Unilever. Um, the, let me just talk about some of the women in the room, and uh, I'll close with, uh, with this, and there, there's a few of them, so stay with me. Um, <laughs> Starting with the women from Google, I think that uh, Wendy Schmidt is here, and uh, Eileen Naughton, and uh, Ellen West, and all folks from Google. And Google had a big impact on me uh, as a person, just in terms of thinking outside the box and taking big risks. And I think the fact that the Google team's here means a lot to me, and there's some really impactful women who affected my life. Thank you, Eileen. I love you, too. Um, and then uh, the uh, AOL team, one of the things that AOL we've done is there's a lot of talk about empowering women and, and makers is a project that we've done, but the thing I'm most happy about is we actually have put women in really serious positions in the company and they put themselves in those positions. Uh, Karen Dykstra, who's our CFO, is the number one rated institutional investor CFO. Uh, her daughter Lawrence here is going to play in the World Lacrosse Games uh, next month up in, uh, up in Canada, so she's a future maker on the rise. Uh, Susan Line, who a lot of people in this room know uh, overall, who I think is one of the most talented people in the content business, joined us. Uh, with Julie Jacobs, we were the number one rated GC last year uh, as a company. So we have a plethora of people who are powerful women, and I, th I see the difference in our company uh, every day. Uh, Marlo Thomas also, uh, if you think anybody in the world uh, Marlo Thomas works for, it's the exact opposite. She is truly the boss. Um, I believe she is the number one largest raiser of private money in the United States for St. Jude. She raises $800 million a year uh, to save children, and uh, she is a super talent. Uh, the highest compliment in the room tonight got paid at our table, because her, Phil Donnie, her husband's at our table, and after everyone got done presenting, he said, this is the first time I've been to a dinner where all the speakers were really talented and good. And that's coming from the man who's interviewed every leader in every world country. So uh, you've got high comments. Um, I, I want to move on to a couple people in the room who uh, you guys might know. Uh, Tammy Irwin from Verizon, who's one of the, probably the largest marketing budget in the world here, is a big partner of ours. Uh, Monica Caro, who sat in, in with Steve Jobs for, uh, I don't know how many years it was, Monica, 10 years, uh, every Wednesday, and helped craft Apple's uh, messages. So when you think about Apple, uh, the one, woman in the room who had a huge effect on Apple. Uh, and then I have to go to uh, some of my MVP makers. Um, my MVP makers, Wenda Millard is here, uh, huge effect on AOL and the whole internet. Uh, industry, Desiree Gruber, uh, Kyle and Kyle McLaughlin, they're married. Uh, Desiree is the full picture, does all the work with Heidi Klum and Project One Way. Uh, Nancy Paritzman, who, where's Nancy? Right over here. Uh, Nancy Paritzman, board of trustee at uh, Princeton, uh, honored at Teach for America last year. Uh, probably the longest standing board member of Teach for America. We're probably raised the most money for Princeton and Teach for America. Uh, I don't do anything at AOL without calling Nancy. She is a true uh, brain power for us, and I want to say thank you, Nancy, and for coming tonight. And then um, I wanted to close with three quick uh, stories. When I left uh, Google, 
Uh, I took one, there's one person in the company I asked who would go with me to uh, AOL. She actually started at AOL before I did. And her name's Maureen Sullivan. She's been mentioned here multiple times. Uh, but I'm going to say something very serious. Maureen Sullivan uh, is somebody for 10 years, I've been working for 10 years, uh, has delivered every single tough project we've ever done. The, the comeback of the AOL brand is Maureen's work. Makers is Maureen's work. And I'm standing up here for both Maureen and I, and it's powerful, Maureen, to have you here uh, tonight. Uh, last, last two stories, and I'll get personal for one minute. A lot of people ask me why, when I left Google, did I go to AOL? Why didn't I retire? Why didn't I take it easy? And uh, when I was growing up, my dad lost his job when I was in college, and my family basically could not afford uh, us. I had college loans from high school. Uh, my dad lost his job my freshman year in college, and I had to go to see the dean at college. And the dean essentially said, look at your parents' call. You're probably not going to be able to come back for the second semester uh, fall year. And I got back, and my parents scraped the money together. I got a job at college and basically worked my way through college. And a few years out of school, I said to my mom, I said, you know, those were really trying times at college and those things. I said, it must have been really difficult for you. And my mom is very stoic. She doesn't say anything. And she said, well, I'll tell you one thing. She said, I pulled over uh, that December that you went to talk to the dean. I pulled over on the side of Route 495 in Westford, Massachusetts, and I cried. And she said, I, I was going to give up. Uh, I had three, I have two other brothers. All of you guys were going to get pulled out of school. And she said it was a make or break moment for her. And she decided to get back on the road and drive. And she said, I don't care what it takes. I'm going to deliver uh, you and your brothers an education so you can graduate. Uh, those things, and uh, sh that moment for me changed the course of my career, because I don't care what anyone in the press says, I don't care what anyone says around our company about the comeback of AOL, uh, those things, uh, nothing will ever be more powerful than uh, my mom getting back on the road uh, to, to drive and, and keep going and drive us through school, and I think that type of drive is what you see from the makers uh, here today, and I think that power is also the, from, I'm going to end with, uh, with Pat Mitchell is uh, Pat Mitchell. When she came to talk about the AOL board with me, we were uh, the worst merger in history, unwinding from Time Warner, uh, looking like we were probably going out of business in 12 to 18 months uh, overall. And Pat, when I was interviewing her, uh, would not uh, let me see her teeth. She was talking to me like this during the interview. Um, and you're probably going to kill me. I'm telling the story. So finally, I, I said, uh, Pat, uh, is something wrong? Uh, you know, you with your mouth. Uh, and she said, well, to be honest with you, I have all false teeth uh, right now because I was just on a trip to Africa. And if you don't know, Pat is one of the largest uh, uh, donators for women's resources in Africa. The first day on the trip, she fell off a stone step and smashed uh, all of her teeth out. And she had 10 days left on the trip. Uh, Pat did not go home. She walked around for the rest of the trip with severe uh, dental issues and waited until she got back um, from the trip. And I said to her, I said, Pat, why didn't you just leave and fly home? Or, and she said, because I was there doing something impactful for other women, and I wasn't going to leave. And I, many of you in this room have been on trips to uh, Africa with Pat. But if you want to talk about the, um, the single thing that I think this country needs, that everyone needs, is that type of maker mentality. And I'm proud to be associated with makers. The company is. Uh, overall, and I hope that all of you will encourage your children to watch makers to, and, and, and to follow through on what you see in those videos. And the final thing I just want to say, because I have to do a t uh, thing on uh, being a CEO, is uh, Kara Swisher, just so we can set the record straight, uh, called my house last uh, Friday, two Friday nights ago at 9 p.m. while I was having uh, dinner with my family. And my daughter leaned over me, Hope, and she said, is it one of the AOL employees, Dad? And I said, yes. <laughs> because Kara Swisher knows more of what's going on at AOL than I do, so it's nice to have her here with us tonight. But uh, thank you very much. Thank you to the Kelly Center. And again, thank you for coming out tonight. It meant a lot to me and to everyone else.